Hi children, good morning. Welcome back to our session. What is our topic is going on? Light, reflections and refractions. Is it? Yes. So, in the yesterday's class we have learned about the pinhole camera. Have you watched the pinhole camera children? Yeah. So, I think you got some idea about that. So, today's our topic is mirrors and reflections. What do you mean by mirror? If you want to go outside, we used to see the mirror and we used to make up ourselves. That means to see the objects. That means the object and the image. To see the image. Our image, if you want to see, we can see through our mirrors. Is it? Then reflection. That reflection only, it's nothing but ours. Is it? Yes. Now, let me see the mirrors and reflections. Light waves may change their direction upon striking a surface. This is called as reflection. What do you mean by reflection children? Light waves may change their direction. If the light waves are going to change the direction upon striking a surface, this is nothing but the reflection. Mirror, the best example is the mirror. Mirror is an object which reflects the light. Can you guess any other than the mirror which it reflects the light? Water children, water. So, if you see through the water, we can see our image also. So, the best example, we are going to take the mirror and water also. Shiny and polished surfaces usually acts as mirror. What is this? Shiny and polished means? Can you guess it or can you give an example for that? Newly bought steel plate. If you see, like the mirror only, we can observe our images. Okay? Due to the reflection, image of an object is seen in the mirror. Due to the reflections, we can see the object in the mirror. For example, uh, take uh, three of your friends. Select your friends. So, one friend should be standing here. Then another one will be standing here. The third person will be standing here. Then the first person, what he has to do? So, he is the first person. He is going to take the mirror. Then next person he is going to take the torch. He is just standing. Now the torch light friend he has to keep the torch light to the mirror friend. Which the friend is catching the mirror. Then what the third person which this person what he can observe. So he can observe the light. That means the torch light will be moved towards to the mirror. That ray is nothing but the incident ray. Then the reflection, which it is getting the reflection, it is going to fall on this person. This, which it is going to reflect, that ray we call it as the reflected ray. So here, two rays are important. Incident ray and also the reflected ray. So for this, let me see a small activity and let me come back once again. Okay? Watch the video children. In this module, you will learn about reflection of light in plane mirrors. All of you can recognize an image when you see it. An image is the likeness of an object carried and formed by light. What you find in a plane mirror is your image. Light incident on an object is reflected back by the object. That reflected light incidents on the mirror and is reflected again. It is because of this reflection of light we see images. In the absence of light, 
you won't be able to see your image. In fact, the mirror cannot show you images of any object without light. You must have noticed that you can observe clouds in the sky in a still pond in daytime. But you can't really see the dark sky. You see only the bright moon and the stars in a still pond at night. When light is incident on any smooth, shiny surface like a mirror or a tin sheet, it reflects back. This is called reflection of light. The path along which light travels is called a ray of light. Basically, mirrors change the direction of light rays incident on them. Did you know? In ancient times, people mostly used pools of still water or water collected in a vessel as mirrors. The first man-made mirrors were in the form of a polished stone made by using obsidian, a naturally occurring volcanic glass. Neither shadows nor images can exist without light. But there are some distinct differences between shadows and images. For example, your shadow is always black, whereas your image is in color. Shadows change in length with the position of the light source. For example, your shadow changes in length with time as the position of the sun changes during a day. Your shadow will be longest at dawn or early morning and at dusk or early evening, whereas it will be shortest at noon. On the other hand, the image in a plane mirror doesn't change in size at all. It is always of the same size as that of the object. Let's now examine the conditions for the formation of a shadow. We know that a shadow is formed when an opaque object blocks the path of light rays. Whereas, an image is formed when light rays from an object are reflected by a smooth, shiny surface such as a mirror. Shadows cannot be seen without screens. The same is not true for a mirror image. An image in a mirror can be seen without a screen. Both shadows and images have their uses. You look at your image in the mirror every time you are getting ready to go out. And the shadow cast by your umbrella keeps you cool on a hot sunny day. You may remember that images are formed in mirrors as well as in cameras. However, the images formed in a camera, such as the pinhole camera, are different from those formed in a mirror. Here is the image of a tree formed in a pinhole camera. As you can see, the image of the tree is inverted in the pinhole camera, whereas in a mirror, the image is erect. There are some other differences between the images formed in a pinhole camera and in a mirror. The image in a pinhole camera is smaller in size than that of the object, whereas the image formed in a plane mirror is of the same size as that of the object. The distance between the image and the pinhole is not the same as the distance between the pinhole and the object. Whereas, the distance between the image 
and the plane mirror is the same as the distance between the mirror and the object. Did you know? A periscope is an instrument for observation from a hidden position. This instrument is used in submarines to view objects on the surface above and works on the concept of reflection in plane mirrors. In this module, you learned about An image is the likeness of an object carried and formed by light. Reflecting of incident light is called reflection of light. The differences between a shadow and an image are A shadow is always a dark patch, whereas an image can be colored. It takes the color as that of the object. A shadow is formed by blocking the path of light rays by an opaque object, while an image is formed by reflection of light from an object. The length of a shadow changes with the position of the light source. However, the length of an image in a plane mirror is always the same as that of the object. A shadow can be seen only on a screen, whereas an image can be seen without a screen in the mirror itself. Yeah, have you watched the video? How it is? I think you got the idea about the mirrors and the reflection. Now, let me go for an activity, children. So, what is that activity means? For this activity, we need comb, a plain mirror, torchlight. So, these are the things we have here. So, place the cardboard. Then, for this cardboard, arrange one white paper. Okay, then this side, fix one mirror, plain mirror, this is the mirror. Then arrange the torch light. In front of this torch light, we have to arrange the comb. So, what is this? Oh, and what is this? Torch light. Okay, now switch on the touch. What will happen? Through the comb, the combs are having the lines on children that we call it as the comb teeth. Through that, the light is going to pass towards the mirror. Then what we can see? The reflection of the comb, like these lines, very clearly we can observe. So, this is one of the small activity regarding the reflection. So, for this also, I will show you a small video, you can watch it. So, by this, we have completed our chapter of light, shadows and reflections. Okay, so go through these videos and let me understand the concepts. If any doubts out there, you can clarify. So, first of all, watch the video. Okay, thank you, children. Hi, children. Here it is the activity. So, first, let me take the drawing board. And we are going to arrange the white sheet. Is it? Yes. So for this we need the comb, torchlight and one plain mirror. So now we are going to fix the mirror by using of the gum. Because it should be stick. 
should not move so next we are going to arrange the plane mirror you can see the image of that comb okay so it should be little bit large maybe nearly 20 centimeters so that the reflection of the light from the mirror is clearly we can observe it place the torch light you can place the torch light are you observing children yes so now the torch is on wow see the reflections of the comb so the light is falling on the mirror through the comb it is moving so we can see see the lines children how it is yeah so when we are adjusting the mirror like the broomstick we can see just you also can do this activity in your home children so light from the source travel in a straight path wow beautiful that means the light is falling on the plane mirror and it is reflecting so which it is going straight that rays we call it as the incident ray and which it is reflecting that rays we call it as the reflected rays the reflected rays from the tilted plane mirror form